Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I just want to quickly showcase how we can actually utilize LLMs and run them and connect to them using Python. As I've lately just been playing around with a few small personal projects, and I expected that it would be very complex and require some crazy hardware to actually have it all run locally, but we can actually, using something called Olama, which is kind of like a local program, which then allow us to install at least some models, like I'm using the, the Llama models, so it is the open source models created and provided by Facebook or Meta, to be more precise. What I then found is that it's actually very, very simple, almost too simple, so it, it feels a bit magical. But what we would simply do is I would go online, just download Olama, which is kind of like a service running in the background on my Windows desktop here. When I have it downloaded, I would then find which models I would like to utilize. And right now the newest Llama version is Llama 3.1. So I just simply go in here and you should then check, for example, first that you have Llama installed. If you just put a Llama, it will showcase like some commands or you can do Llama does version to check the version you have of Llama. If we then simply do Llama run and then the model name, it's going to download it and kind of add it to the list of active models in Olama. I already have done this and it should take a few minutes, so be patient. But again, very simple. Download Olama. Ensure it runs. Download the model. We can then simply do Olama list. See here that a few days ago, I downloaded a model of Llama 3.1. And that is actually just it. From Python, having this running in the background, it then kind of serves as a service for writing like API endpoints. And using Python, all I need to install is I have pip, I use pip3 to install again, like the Llama connection tool. In my case, it's already installed, so it's very quick and simple. But inside Python, I'm using a notebook here to show you the example, but we can then simply import Llama to define our model name. And again, looking back at our list, we use Llama 3.1. I then need to create some kind of like text prompt. I then create a stream. So we kind of like have a connection to the, the model, in this case, like Llama, past that we're using this model. This is the message. And we're going to be streaming the result. So kind of like if you use ChatGPT or something like that, you would see that it's kind of like streamed line by line. We're using it as a rule from a user perspective. It doesn't matter much, but we then have the content, which is going to be our prompt. And we can then very simply just have the stream and then utilize the stream by kind of like going through each chunk, so each line when they're available and have them printed like this. And just a simple prompt, then asking what color is the sky. We can see here that it should then simply give us an answer. And to me, this is actually just like so impressive and almost crazy that just simply downloading Olama, downloading the model, and then simply just being able to interact with it like this through Python very simply. And now it allows me to have some kind of like small projects I wanted to try out, but I don't really want to go pay for some crazy LLM API endpoints or something. I just wanted like a small to test the functionality. And this then provides, at least to me, a pretty decent baseline for some uh, exploration and, and testing of all this functionality. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this small showcase and enjoyed my fascination of how easy we can actually interact and play with large language models at this point. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.